Yeah, man, y'all know what the fuck going on, man. If you've been rocking with me, shout out to you. If you're new to the channel, leave a like. Uh, subscribe to my channel and all that. Share this video and all that good shit. This video right here gonna be about uh King Von manager, well former manager, the nigga Honey K, or whatever the fuck his name is. You feel me? Um, uh, now some allegations going. It's some allegations on his name, and I'm use the word allegations because it ain't really been proven yet about some shit that I'm gonna talk about. You know what I'm saying? So let's get into it. So I bet. A lot of people speculating that um they alleged that a hundred K he the one that got old block known that indictment and he the he the informant and all that shit. Now I'ma give my perspective. Since all this shit just allegations, I ain't even gonna I don't I ain't gonna say that man did what, you feel me? He out of way in goddamn Florida. You feel me? So it's possible he did. It's it's real possible he did, bruh. You know what I'm saying? It's possible, bruh. You know? And he could have did this too, bruh. Like, it's a reason he signed Muwap and all them. You know what I'm saying? Because he signed them. And when you get signed to somebody, see if you go to jail or something happens to you, like you get killed or something. Um, like, um, what can I say? What What is the word I'm looking for? They like your, it's like they're like a beneficiary. Like, they go and hear it, all your shit, kind of basically. You know what I'm saying? Like, any money that's coming from them songs that you niggas dropped on YouTube, it don't it don't matter if it only got 100K views or anything like that. The beneficiary, which is a 100K track, he gon' you know what I'm saying? The manager's always, it's always like that, you know? So that's one, that's one possible reason as to why he could have got them locked up you know what i'm saying and he been a snake ass nigga and i'm gonna talk about the whole little king vine thing a little bit on this video too like um i wouldn't even put it past him for real like i believe he set up king vine you know what i'm saying i believe he did set up king vine to get killed because pay attention folk all right look though they said they said they was celebrating somebody's birthday i guess it was like boss top birthday this is coming from 100K. Y'all can't believe what this nigga say. He's a fucking liar. So let me tell y'all what he said. He said they was at a birthday. They went to the hookah lounge. And, and some shit popped off. But I got so many questions about that night. Like regarding that. Like what the fuck was the whole purpose of going to the hookah lounge? And how the fuck did coincidentally Quando Rondo and Lil Tim them just end up being there at the same time, bro? You can't tell me and without Vaughn knowing. Without without Vaughn knowing. Because Vaughn didn't even know Quando was there until somebody told Vaughn. That, uh, uh, you feel me? And this all, all this shit coming from um 100K. You feel me? So how the fuck do you niggas just coincidentally, or whatever y'all know the word I'm trying to say. How the fuck do y'all just randomly end up in the same spot? Like, come on, bruh. It, no, the world don't work like that. Sometimes it do, but no. That was a pure setup for that man to get killed, man. You know what I'm saying? And then he stole, he stole, he stole, like, Von book bag. Like, that had jewelry and money in it and all that shit. You feel me? I can't believe that nigga, bruh. He just switched up his story so many times, like, regarding the whole little King Von situation. You feel me? I did a whole video... I lost the video, though. I got to find it somewhere in my Gmail. I lost that shit. I did, like, a whole hour video of breaking down the scenario and the details and explaining my thoughts and what could have possibly really happened to him that night. I mean, we know what happened, but coming from these niggas' mouths, they saying one thing, and the whole motherfucking video looked like a setup. All this guys ran on him, but about, what, one, two of them stayed with him, you feel me? So, he, yeah, hell yeah. Like, it's... It's it's for sure possible a hundred K tipped off the boys and you feel me giving them information because look, Muwap and them, they around, you feel me? They was around Vaughn and you know what I'm saying? Like and Vaughn around this nigga, so they automatically all became cool. So you never know. They probably talking to him about the shit, or he probably just overhearing shit they talking about in another room or any it could be anything like that. And and they and they wouldn't even have knew, like, oh, I wouldn't even have known this nigga was gonna be the one that was gonna motherfucking get us locked up and all that shit, bruh. 
Yes, bro, niggas will do that to you. If you if, if they get y'all mans killed, if they got y'all main nigga from y'all hood killed, the nigga like the breadwinner, the nigga that's putting y'all on, you think he won't get you niggas locked up? You feel me? He knew Vaughn longer than he knew y'all. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, him and Vaughn became cool before him and y'all became cool. 100K and O Block. Vaughn and 100K was cool before 100K became cool with the rest of O Block. You feel me? That's what I'm saying. I ain't saying he knew Vaughn before O Block, no. But it's possible, bro. You can't push it past none of these snake ass niggas out here, boy. This whole motherfucking world <laughs> full of snakes. And that's motherfuckers' problem. That's why they get caught in these jams. Oh, they ain't going to do it. Thinking the motherfucker ain't going to do it or do that to you. Like, yes, they will do that to you. But a 100K track, man, my nigga, you got some explaining to do, my nigga. You got some real explaining to do, cuz. All these allegations on your name, bro, and you, you, you really, you really, you put yourself in a bad position. You feel me? Including that King Von, the whole little King Von ordeal, like I said, so it's possible. It is possible you 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 didn't get these niggas locked up and hit with them charges. They was coming for their ass anyway. With all the, you know what I'm saying? Like they was coming for their ass regardless. But at the same time, though, at the same time, somebody snitching, bro. Somebody snitching. Somebody around them snitching. Somebody around them tipping off the police, tipping off the feds, and doing all that. You feel me? Niggas ain't got loyalty, bruh. You gotta, you gotta stay solo out here, man. Only had real niggas around you. No foo-foo niggas. But I'm checking in and checking out, man. Gang shit.